This video is not financial advice. I am not a financial planner. I'm an entertainer baby, the one and only a father in the house. Wow! Okay, what I'm about to say in this video doesn't apply to everyone, okay? Because there are some apes, okay, who have discipline. They really do. Like, they will not sell their AMC for nothing, baby. Diamond balls of steel, right to Pluto, okay? But there are other apes you know, I'm sorry, I don't want to, you know, hurt your feelings. I don't want to embarrass you. But the truth is the truth. There are other apes that are struggling financially. And, you know, they look at that AMC, they look at that stock and they say, man, I got, you know, whatever it is. I got 10 shares, 20 shares in there. You know what I mean? Five shares, whatever the case may be. And they start thinking crazy thoughts. You know, maybe I could sell my AMC jump into like Clove or like support.com or this whatever, uh, be big. And you know what? Make some more money and then go back into AMC. Okay. Let me tell you quickly why that's really bad. And then I want to get into the main subject of this video. Okay. When you sell your helping Citadel, any which way you twist the coin, I don't care if your intentions are to go back into AMC or you're like, you know, like with swing traders. Okay. They're like, look, you know, I'm temporarily selling, but ultimately I'm putting more money back in AMC. It's stupid. You're helping Citadel cover. You're, you're going to cause Citadel to cover shares that we don't want them to cover guys. <laughs> you know, don't you understand? We don't want them to cover nothing. Okay. Only like at Pluto, <laughs> that's what we want Citadel to cover at like 100, 200, 500,000 a share. That's what they're going to cover. They're going to be folded, they can't cover. Well, the DTCC will cover. Somebody's going to cover it. Okay, but that's what that's what the winning is. You understand? That's what a royal flush is. You know what the definition of a royal flush is getting top money, getting the most money we could get. It's like if you're trying to sell your house, you understand? And the realtor tells you, look, your house is worth 500,000. Are you going to sell it for 250? That, I know that you're laughing at me and I know you think it's funny. You're like, yeah, I'm going to sell my house for half. But there are actually apes selling at like these prices under $50 a share. They are selling. Now, I don't care what their motivation is, whether it's to swing trade and to get back in or day trade to get back in. Or, you know, if they're thinking of selling AMC to make some more money with another play and then get back in. You got to stop it. OK, you're hurting your ape family. You're delaying the Moaz. You're helping Citadel. The only thing you should be doing is going into Fidelity and buying more AMC. But you got to get into Fidelity like ASAP. No, we got to end. We got to take away this payment for order flow power from Citadel. We can't wait and hope Gary Gensler is going to do it from the SEC. We got to do it. OK, you know what they say? God only helps those who help themselves, baby. We have to help ourselves. We as a community have the power to end the payment for order flow. For Citadel, we have, I don't know if you know this, we, we don't, you know where everyone's hoping Gary Gensler's going to do his job? We don't need Gary Gensler to do his job. We can do his job for him. Just go into Fidelity. If you go into Fidelity, you're taking away Citadel's power. No more payment for water flow. But here's what I'm going to suggest to the apes that don't have discipline, you know, that, you know, might possibly need this money or are thinking of old ways scheming to make more money. Listen, forget you even have AMC. Okay, I'm going to tell you a little trick the eight father does. Okay, sometimes what I do is I think in my mind, you know, because you know the eight father goes to Atlantic City. You know I love to play roulette. I told you my stories. Okay, I I, I one time went on a, a winning streak in in, uh, in the Tropicana Golden Nugget Caesars. I went on like a a month a thirty day winning streak. I won like thirty thousand. OK, and then I winded up losing all of it on, on, on the next visit. OK, because it's all a big setup. It's all rigged. OK, I don't do it no more. But I learned my lesson that casinos are rigged. It's rigged. Look, you go to a casino to have fun. You understand? Have a couple of drinks, hang out with your buddies, you know, go wild. You know, that's fine. You know what I mean? You know, get a couple of like friggin donkeys in your room, you know, pull like an animal house. You know, you know, the movie uh, John Bellucci. That's all good. You do all that stuff. That's fun. But gambling will never make you money in casinos. It's a rigged, it's rigged, forget about it. But the point is, is this, okay? Here's what the point is. We don't have to play by Citadel's rules. We can take away that power. See, we can't take away the casino's power. That's just written in, in blood. It's written in stone. But we have the power to change payment for order flow just by going in fidelity. I don't understand why. Like, I get apes telling me, I like Robin Hood. It's fun to use. Guys, are you in this for life-changing wealth, generational wealth or because you like an app 
on your phone. Like, like what, what are you in AMC for? Okay. So anyway, getting back apes who can't control themselves, who 